<coughs> Shall we take few cases? But well, that's a, a part of itself. When we'll discuss, you know, you are saying zoom in further. Then you will find in this block, this is Jamia, this is Ishwar Nagar, this is third, fourth, fifth. We'll zoom in. But ultimately, it is in this block. Uh, one thing I never allow people late in my classes. I'm always the last person, and the reason for the same is those who join now. And if they say, sir, please start once again, then after 10 minutes, somebody says, say, start again. So, all of the day, I will just discussing one table. I want to go. All. So, if you are late, uh, I am sorry, but uh, keep quiet. I know you are uh, paid people and you are customer here, but uh, I do not subscribe to that philosophy. I said, told you that I am a teacher and I can exercise my powers of a teacher. I do not treat you as my customer. Right. So, let us uh, take certain case studies. The case studies are now <coughs> the Times of India is concerned with which section people are reading. So, the sections are sports, entertainment, and politics because ultimately they wish to place certain ads in it. So, they are looking for that it might be it depends on gender that male are looking for this and this and at the same time it depends on their background also. Background means uh, urban or rural. Now, what is meant by end here? If I do not put a end here it means the section may be related to gender and section may be related with the background right. So, it is a bivariate. But end means gender and background. It means now it means gender is male female and background is urban rural. The moment we put end, we say urban male have a separate set of behavior and urban female, rural male and rural female. It means I am interested in these four blocks. I am interested in urban male, urban female. So, urban male are may be more interested in uh, politics, urban female may be interested in something else, rural male may be interested in maybe sports or politics or agriculture, rural female may be interested in something else. I cannot now bifurcate into two this is versus this, this versus this. Obviously, it is your decision because uh, you will conduct your research, but if I will write end, end means combined effect of gender and this combined effect. Now, in that case, let us go one by one. First thing, how many variables are there? 1, 2, 3. In my analysis, I wish to study the combined effect of gender and background on the section or relation, not the effect. I want to check are they related. So, how many variables are there? 3 are the variables. So, is it multivariate? Is it multivariate? It can be two bivariate also, yes. but when I write combined effect, it means I cannot put it separate. So, it is a multivariate table number 3. Now, in the table number 3, please look for how many dependent variables are there. How many dependent variables are there? One, which one? Sections. Okay. And uh, what is the measurement of the section? Nominal or ordinal interval ratio? Nominal, dependent variable 1 and nominal. So, if you refer to table number 3, so you come to dependent variable 1 and non-metric. So, that means any of the 5 techniques will be applicable. Am I correct? So, any of these 5, we come to this section, dependent variable is 1 and that is non-metric. Now, independent, how many independent are there? 3, 2, gender and background, 2 are there. So, it means independent more than 1, we come to this section. So, any of the 3 techniques will be applicable? Any of the 3 techniques? Why not this one? 
why not MDA etc because it is all are now we will look for any of the three we only know dependent variable one non metric independent more than one ok. What is the measurement of gender and background gender is nominal background nominal both are nominal. So, both non metric both non metric we come to complex cross term the technique which will be applicable here will be complex cross term. So, first thing to note is the techniques depends on only two things number of variables and number of variables it does not depend on the researcher or the guide am I right. Only option is you are free if it is a objective then there is a measurement and then there is a test or technique you are free in this zone how you will measure you are free. But once you have restricted something I will measure this way the questions you have made then you have no freedom there will be a particular test or technique. Okay. Let us check some other example. We feel that marks obtained in plus 2 CBSC marks <coughs> it depends on 2 3 things it depends on uh, income of the parent positive relationship that means uh, higher the income they can afford some sort of tuition high quality textbooks etcetera and the marks can be high. It depends on gender because generally we see girls perform better than boys in CBSC every year we see that. Then we feel it depends on background also urban or rural generally urban boys or urban girls do better than their rural counterparts which test or technique should be applied here. Can you advise which test or technique should be applied? Well, the first question is always how you will measure, or do not assume yourself and start working on that. The first question always should be how you will measure it. I am free in my measurement. So, let me see marks are the actual marks taken out of 600 or 800, metric or non metric metric ratio income I have taken the actual income given in the TDS metric gender male female non metric background is urban rural mix right now you can tell me sorry what is n? Two way and COVA is the correct answer. Two way and COVA is the correct answer. How you reach there? Dependent variable is one, so we come to this block. Independent more than one, so we come to this block. Am I right? Then dependent variable one and metric, it means only of the three. And then independent variables are mix. If they are mix, so it is n way and COVA. And what is meant by n? N means number of non metric independent variable which are 2. So, 2 way ANCOVA will be used. Uh, other technique in the same which when we go higher we can do it is a regression with dummy variable. So, you might see some people may prefer to work on regression with the dummy variable that is also a technique. When one or two independent variables are metric non metric then we may apply regression like now basically thing here is <coughs> the difference between the two is if you wish to see the effect of these putting these as constant for the separate groups of this this will be called regression with the dummy variable. If you wish to look for this effect putting this as the constant this is called ANCOVA. Sorry regression with the dummy variable <coughs> that is a procedure that is a procedure use a dummy. See when we say regression, regression reminds me of uh, Hitler. Hitler always talked about the purity of blood you remember that regression in its purest form looks for the dependent and independent whatever they may be they must be metric all of them. In fact, they should be ratio to be more precise not even internal uh, interval 
they should be ratio regression is made for that. Now, how to handle when there is some sort of non metric it was not made for that non metric categories it was not made for and if you were uh, here yesterday I tried to show you why the things go wrong when you make low and high the graph comes like this regression is not made for this thing. So, what we do we make certain variables as a dummy means present or absent when they were present for example, think of this if I will split my file and I call it as let us take males marks and the income only for boys and there is a relation let us take only for the girls there is a relationship. So, what I am doing one time for the boys one time for the girls this is called as the dummy. So, I will take it as 0 and the 1 there is a separate procedure and there are certain methods of it obviously, if there is not mix had it been all the metric then obviously, then there is a multiple regression. So, all other are basically the offshoot of it multiple regression all of them. So, ANOVA and this are one and the same thing. So, you can see one of my video in uh, regression playlist it is a regression versus ANOVA. regression versus ANOVA with the same data set I try to show you that uh, if you apply regression if you apply ANOVA one and the same thing absolute same values are there, but there are reasons why we use ANOVA why we use this table is there with you. Now, let us write the steps for statistical analysis and these steps we will use <coughs> in various case studies today one thing whatever I discussed so far this was common for all branches whether you are from management commerce economics or even from engineering medicines this was common for all because whatever the way you collect the data you collect it using certain instruments you collect it survey method or you download it is a data it is a numbers and the numbers may fall any of the category of nominal ordinal interval or ratio. So, then all these tables make sense to everybody if doctors say that I want to check the hemoglobin and the relation of the blood pressure with that does not matter to us both are the data and if it is metric metric regression will be applied. If you say that blood pressure between boys and girls ok one variable is non metric other is metric hypothesis testing will be applied. So, it is common so it is not field specific it is for all. <coughs> 